All right, Shalom. Let's start for by giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshah, Bashim, Arakah, Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone and Ruel. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Shalom unto you. Quick video, I'm going to hit a few scriptures on it. But basically, this is uh, from Press TV showing that uh, Syria shoots down hostile targets south of Damascus. Okay? If you didn't know, the Holy Bible prophesies of uh, World War Three. Okay? Where the, 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 the Edomites, which are the so-called white people of the earth, that, that run the world, that the, the, the wicked the Bible speaks of, their whole power structure gets demolished, okay? In, the, in this coming war. And especially when um, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, and his holy angels and his air force, ground troops and everybody show up to the battle. All right? That's biblical prophecy. Now, the other part that you must know is everything that's happening over there in the Middle East is all part of uh of World War Three in the early stages of World War Three. Okay? So this is all biblical prophecy that's going on over there, okay? So I'm gonna play the video and then uh and then and, and then we'll go from there. I mean they have music but I'm not playing it. Okay, so now um, I'm going to get a few scriptures to show you um, what the scriptures say about this, okay? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, I'm going to start Jeremiah chapter 49, verse uh, 12. It says, For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. Talking about his chosen people, the Israelites. They were we weren't supposed to drink the cup of slavery. You know, the Lord's indignation. That was never our intent. But we have surely drunken it. It says, Are thou he that shall go altogether unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt drink drink a drink of it. Yeah, the other nations, man, that that have spoiled and destroyed us, you gotta get you gotta get uh uh drink that cup too. Okay? It says, I have sworn by myself, said the Lord Yahweh, that Basra shall become a desolation. And, and, and who are the people of Basra? Edom. Okay? The Edomites are out of Basra. They're the ones that's over there in, uh, in, 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 in Tel Aviv, Israel, and in, in that, in, 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 going in there during the Belfort Declaration. Okay? They're the ones calling themselves the Israelites, the Jews, the southern kingdom of Israel. Okay? It says, um, that Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse. And all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. You know, all the cities of Edom that, that the Edomites inhabit are going to be perpetual waste. And that's mainly going to happen in World War III. Okay? I have had a rumor for the Lord from, excuse Salaki. I have heard a rumor from the Lord, Yahweh, and an ambassador is sent unto, unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together and come against her. And rise up to her, uh, rise up to the battle, and uh, that's that's what's was picking up in the Middle East over there, World War Three, 
Okay, that, that spirit is getting pushed out in the earth. Okay. It says, uh, for lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and, des and despised among men. Talking about you Amalekites, man, you Edomites. You guys will be de uh, are despised among the world and among the heathen. Okay. Everybody's tired of you running the world in your wicked way that you've been running it. Trying to control everything with your Georgia Guidestone rules, with your, with your New World Order. They're tired of that. It says, uh, thy terribleness hath deceived thee and the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks. And, and Edom always enjoyed living on, on high habitations, okay? In the clefts of the rocks, way back from Mount Seir, um, all the way up to the Caucasus Mountains, okay? And even now, in these high rises and skyscrapers and so on and so forth. It says, that hold is the height of the hill. Though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, and who and who uses that symbol of the eagle? You Edomites use that symbol. Whether it was back in the, the Greeks, the Romans, and even into the the, the the rebirth of the Roman Empire with, with the Americas. Okay, so I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Lord Yahweh. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone uh, goeth by it shall be astonished. Shall be astonished, and shall hiss. At the plagues thereof. Yeah, and all the things that they see that happen to this place once it's destroyed. It says, as, the, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, which was destroyed by fire and brimstone, America will be destroyed by fire and brimstone from the ICBM nuclear missiles. Okay? It says, um, and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord Yahweh, no man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Nobody on the earth is going to live over here. Just desert creatures. And that's pursuing the Revelation, the 18th chapter. Okay, it says, uh, Behold, um, he shall come up like a lion in the swelling of uh, of Lorraine against the habitation of the strong. It says, But I will suddenly make him run away from her, and who is chosen, who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her, who is like me, and who will appoint me the time. <laughs> who is that shepherd that will stand before me? Only Yahweh Shai. When they join in the battle, the, all the nations going to gang up against uh, the angels in Yahweh Shai. And you're still going to lose miserably. Okay? Because they're coming with, with, with the cloud, man. Coming with the chariots of Israel. What you people call the so-called UFOs. Said, so, therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that have taken that he hath taken against Edom. You, you Edomites so-called white men that rule the earth. It says, and his purposes that he has purposed against the inhabitations of Teman, another city in Edom. It says, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. And the least of the flock, which are you, you Amalekites, are drawn out this war. You that's inhabiting the land of, uh, of Israel is drawn out everybody to this war. Okay? Surely he shall make their habitations desolate desolate with them. Okay? Okay? So all of that's uh, going down and happening. Matter of fact, I'm going to keep reading. It says, Behold, uh, uh, 21, the earth is moved at the noise of their fall because of the, 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 the bombs and the destruction that's, that's, that's going to happen when these missiles drop. It says, um, At the cry, the noise thereof was heard in the, in the Red Sea. Behold, it shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra. And at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of the woman in her pangs. Those pains are like birth pangs, okay? Birth pains. All right? Where, where nothing can turn it back. This is happening. It's only getting worse and worse and worse till, till she gives birth. And, when, and, 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 the, and the analogy of giving birth is when this man is destroyed. Okay? So concerning Damascus, how mosque is confounded in our pod, uh, for they have heard evil tidings. They are faint hearted. There is sorrow on the sea. It cannot be quiet. These things have to happen in this region. That's why it's just a hotbed of, 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 of destruction over there. Just always missiles flying, Syria, uh, uh, Lebanon. That whole region is just just the war area, okay? 
And that's talked about. Matter of fact, I'm going to read a little more and I'm going to jump over to it in the book of uh, Joel. Damascus, Damascus' wife's feeble and turned her, herself to flee. And fear has seized on her. Anguish and sorrows have taken her as a woman in travail. A woman in travail is a woman that's afraid or a woman that's about to have his birth, uh, give birth. How is the city of praise not left? The city of my joy. Anyway, so let's go to um, Joel. Joel 3. We're going to start down around the ninth. Uh, yes, yeah, see. Yeah, pal. Mm hmm. Yep. Verse 9, Joel 3 and 9. Behold, ye. Uh, excuse me, like it. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. This is talking about in the land of Jehoshaphat, which is Yahweh Shapat, which is the most high God, Yahweh's judgment. That's the place where he's going to judge all flesh upon the earth. Okay? He's going to choose his elect out of them and judge them righteously. The two thirds will be destroyed from the missile fires of, of America, as well as. The other nations will be humbled and put in position of servitude. All right. It says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak sound strong. And and that's when uh, Russia just gave Syria, which was a weaker nation, um, gave them th those S-300 missiles to defend themselves over there. Okay. It says, assemble yourselves and come up. Come Come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about in that in that fertile crescent that that um that area over there, okay? In the Middle East it says, Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O power. Let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. That's that hotbed area that they're that they're gonna be fighting in. It says, um, uh, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about and put them in subjection under his chosen people, the, the Israelites. OK, this, you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans. All right. The, those gutter rats that's sitting over there in the land of Israel secretly running the world uh, with, as the Illuminati and so on and so forth. Those international bankers, they're heathens. They're not the real Israel. OK, to so put you in a sickle for the harvest is ripe. Get ye down, for the press is full, the fats overflow, for the wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Okay. Now let me get, um, bear with me one second. Yeah, Isaiah 9 and 5 says, For every battle of the warrior is what confused noise. All the clanging and, and, and metal and steel hitting, right? And garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Okay, this new world's war is going to be with burning and fuel of fire. All right, let's go from there to, um, back to Joel, the second chapter. We're going to start up and go down to it. Yeah, um, two and three. devours before them and behind them a, a, a flame burneth talking about these missiles okay this war is going to be fought with missiles all right it says the land is as the garden of eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness the destruction is going to be like the land of uh, uh sodom and gomorrah it's going to be beautiful like eden a bustling enterprise and and and, and, and an economic system moving and, and the people inhabited then all of a sudden, these missiles are going to hit, and it's going to be a desolate wilderness like Sodom and Gomorrah, like 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 the like the vast desert, okay? And that's particularly here in America, but in some of those regions over there also. It says, um, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and the horsemen, so shall they run. Yeah, like like a stampede of missiles, just a barrage of missiles coming to destroy this place. Okay? Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth 
the stubble as a strong people set in battle array. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much the point of that. Uh, so I'm gonna go to Revelation. And I'm gonna close out there because this is this is a a, a a huge situation. This is one of the the, the largest um, prophecies that that's to come to pass. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, Revelation 18 and 2 says, And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen. And Babylon the Great is America. Okay, Babylon, the daughter, virgin daughter of Babylon, that's America as well. Okay, this is a place of confusion as well. It says, um, It's fallen, it's fallen, and become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and cage of every unclean and hateful bird. It's where all those desert animals are going to dwell at. Okay? For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her place. That's when the chariots of the Most High, those that are judged righteous, will be beamed up. While everybody else is burnt up and destroyed, they're going to be, Lord willing, I'm of the elect as well. We're going to be beamed up and, uh, and and safe from all the destruction that the missiles are bringing. Okay? Um, we'll jump down to uh, verse 7. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen. And am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. This is the so-called white man's system, especially in the land of America, feel like they can't be touched. Therefore, her plagues shall come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord Yahweh who judgeth her. Okay, and these are just um, the early stages of this World War Three. Okay, you see all the missiles getting passed around the earth. Uh, with these with these other nations and this is part of what has to happen okay this is all part of what has to happen for the end of this thing and you people aren't prepared okay you're not prepared for, for all the, the the martial law and and the um and the destruction that's coming you know especially you you you, you so-called uh, uh negro latino native americans if you're not in the good graces of you how about shimmy outside man you, you're gonna get destroyed Okay, if you're not of his elect and doing the things that his elect is supposed to be doing, you're, you're going to get destroyed. Pure point blank, man. Everybody else is going to get destroyed or go into captivity. All you other heathen. Pure point blank. So this in Syria just proving that the times are now. Now is a high time to wake out of sleep because near is our salvation. Now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. So with that, I'm going to close out giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Arakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well and greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the whole for Shalom unto you.